Naming lines and angles. Let's review types of lines. This is a horizontal line. Horizontal lines run from left to right. This is a vertical line. A vertical line goes up and down. And a diagonal line goes from corner to corner. Parallel lines run side by side and never cross. Intersecting lines are just lines that cross each other. And perpendicular lines are lines that cross or intersect at a right angle, a 90 degree angle. Let's review types of angles. An acute angle measures less than 90 degrees. A right angle measures exactly 90 degrees, and you'll often see a square in the corner to show you that it's a right angle. An obtuse angle measures more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. And a straight angle measures exactly 180 degrees. You may be asked to identify lines and angles in a figure like the one below. Notice that points on the figure are labeled with letters. We can use these letters to name lines and angles. For example, we can call the line highlighted in red line AC. That's because points A and C both fall on this line. We could trace from point A to point C, like a dot to dot. This would be written AC with a line symbol over it. A line symbol just looks like a little line with arrows on both sides to show that lines go in both directions. The line above the letters tells me it's a line. We can also call this same line line CA because lines go in both directions. Ray AC is written like this. AC with a ray symbol over it. Notice how the ray symbol only has an arrow on one side. We could not call this ray CA. That would be a different ray entirely. That would be this ray. We can call this line segment AC or line segment CA. Notice the symbol for line segment doesn't have any arrows. It's just a line. We can also use this system to name parallel and perpendicular lines. Line AB and line DC are parallel. This can be written line AB and then the symbol for parallel, which just looks like two little parallel lines, line DC. Line AB and line BC are perpendicular. This can be written by writing line AB and then using the perpendicular symbol, which looks kind of like the letter T upside down, and then writing the other line, line BC. The letters can also be used to name angles using an angle symbol, which kind of looks like a less than symbol. The red angle can be named angle BAC or angle CAB. Think about which letters you hit when you trace the angle, like a dot to dot. This is an acute angle. This angle can be named angle ABC or CBA. It could even be named DBC or CBD because it also runs through the point labeled D. This is a right angle. This angle can be named DAC or CAD. Remember, trace along the angle like a dot to dot. What letters do you hit? This is an obtuse angle. An angle can also be named by its vertex, which is its corner. We can call this angle B. We can't call this angle A though, because four different angles share that vertex. We have to call it angle BAC or angle CAB. Let's review the symbols that we learned in this lesson. To write a line, put two letters and on top of it put the line symbol, which is like a little line with arrows on both sides. 
The symbol for Ray is a little line with an arrow on only one side. The symbol for a line segment is just a little line without any arrows. The symbol for angle kind of looks like a little acute angle or, or a less than sign. If you want to show that lines are parallel, you can put the parallel symbol between them, which looks like two vertical parallel lines. Actually looks a lot like the double L's in the word parallel. For perpendicular, you put a little perpendicular symbol, which looks like an upside down capital T. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.